And 40,000 people works out of about just 12 and a half, 13, 14 percent, 13 percent of Barbados' population. But th these are people who are in uh, most companies have these health plans. Some of them are individual plans, some of them are small business, but most of them are the large group plans, as you can imagine, the, the big commercial entities that have their employees covered under health insurance. So, Dr. I mean, Dr. James, Dr. Chase, and the minister, really and truly, without insurance, this cost will be coming at you all too. So, you can understand why, um, whatever goes on at the QEH and the Ministry of Health, and the cost of, of medical care, goes on on any insurance policy. It's not that there's any different. The inflation and so on creeps on, on us. The average cost um, per claim in, in 2013 for, for medical site, $265 per person. And they say, whoa, well, you know, it's not $80 to go to the doctor anymore, is it? But, and the average cost per patient per year is about $700 per person for medical. And obviously dental and vision have their own on costs. Average is there. The utilization um, has increased. It, although you, you would think you, it, the percentages there are not very high, as you can see. They're just marginal increases, but they, they impact the cost because of the, the inflation is going up, obviously the inflated cost, and the utilization is going up. But people don't want premiums to go up. So somehow somebody suffers. And then, as you can see, the end person is obviously the insurance company. But the, the cost of, the cost of um, sorry, the number of claims is, is going up gradually. Um, although, you would think that you would have expected a lot more. Um, I actually expected a lot more, um, a lot bigger increase when I was researching the data. I think in, in, in Barbados alone, um, we, we, we process about, I would say about 285,000 claims a year. And that's a lot of folks, let me tell you. And everybody wants the money settled within five days or, or whatever, 10 days or, or less, five days or less. As you all know, we, we have ways of getting that done with our carry care card. So that's a benefit to Sagittarius members. But it is not always as fast as that if there are questions and complaints and, and queries around the claim. Thankfully, our system allows us to speedily process client's claims. But it is, there is, a, there is a, a, a trend that you're seeing there in the, in the data. What creates the utilization increase in Barbados, based on our information, um, some of the things that, uh, that cause it, and I have heard it here today already by a few, almost two or three of the speakers, Defensive medicine. We have found, um, in many cases, many tests. Um, more tests are being asked for, and I think that showed up in the QEH data as well, um, for various illnesses. And, and that costs money. And if it's a private patient, obviously, the insurance company has to pay for it. So it drives up the cost of the benefits on your, on your policy. Another thing is the inconsistent method of treatment. Um, in Barbados, I, I mean, in, in most medical uh, countries, at least in the medical care, the standardization of treatment, something like hypertension, uh, is there a standard? Is there a policy in Barbados in BAM? How you treat hypertension? Um, you've got all the varying ways of treating various uh, illnesses in Barbados. And some doctors, you, we, we have the data in our insurance uh, claims, you know, some doctors request certain things and, and offer certain treatment. That others don't. So the cost of one individual might be significantly different to another individual, and those are the kind of things that impact the performance of a policy. Health insurance is basically covered by a premium. Um, we have health insurance for individual persons, uh, what we call individual health policies. We have small group policies, which are people, uh, small businesses that normally um, have their own small group policies, and we have the medium and larger group policies. We also have the global care plan, which is an individual health plan for the most um, international treatment. And we have two gentlemen in the back this morning who will be able to give us some information on that after the presentations. 
and I'm trying to get the, the minister to, to buy one. So I've actually given him two brochures there this morning so he can look at them and, and spread the word for me. But what is, what, what is health insurance premium? You know, health insurance premium basically is, is, is needed to, to cover the cost of benefits. It's as simple as that. Most of the premium covers the cost of an individual's benefit or the group's benefit. A lot of people, there's a myth out there that insurance companies make a lot of money on health insurance. Well, they can put that to rest. Sajakor has been in this business a very long time. Yeah, you make some money some years, but there are more valleys than peaks, I can tell you that. Um, certainly since I have, have been here, it has been a struggle. And my, my data will show you why it has been a struggle. So your, your, your premiums pay uh, the benefits, it pays the reinsurance, the commissions we have, the operating costs of the company, and in the end, hopefully, you get a little profit. Hopefully. You can see the pie, how, big the, how big the pie is there for the profit. Majority, majority of the, um, the impact is because the majority of the, the reason for any change in premium is because of the increase in the benefits. And in Barbados, as you have heard earlier today, there's no end to that, it seems, at this time. Uh, there are a lot of different reasons given here, but I, I think that what we need to look at is what we call a trend in the, in the industry. We call something a, a, a cost trend. It basically is the, is the data that is used to show uh, the movement in the, in the expense or the cost of the benefits that you are incurring every year. And we use that to assume or to estimate or to calculate based on the models what premium will cover your benefit plans next year. Because health insurance is not like life insurance or, or not, I wouldn't say property, but it's not like life insurance. Obviously, as you know, health insurance is a one-year renewable policy. So the premium only covers something for you for a year. So it is easy to adjust the premium based on the benefit structure that you um, think you can afford. So the healthcare trend, as I said, is, is basically a movement in the cost. It's normally explained as a percentage of the expenses. And you will see from this table here, it fluctuates all over the place. Some of you may look and say, well, what on earth happened in 2012? Well, I can tell you, in 2012, for some reason, we had an extremely high number of overseas claims, cases, that you can, and based on all the historic data, were never predicted. You, although you have reinsurance to cover the major cause of these cases, you still have a retention uh, basis within your own company that you cover. You don't give away all your profits to the reinsurance company. Then. You take the risk, you risk that, and that as well as uh, your profit would cover that element. <coughs> but in 2012, it was a disaster, as you can see. Anytime a, a, a trend goes to 90%, there's no way on earth you can make money on that business because you just haven't priced your business for that year on that basis. But it, it fluctuates usually, as you can see, in various, various forms and fashion. The main component of healthcare in Barbados, um, what drives it? Are these few things here. Normal inflation, inflationary costs. I heard uh, Dr. Chase talking about the pharmaceutical and some of the others talking about the inflated or the continuing increase in cost uh, of care. Utilization. Utilization obviously is going to drive the trend. The new technology, medical profession, looking at various new techniques, buying some extremely expensive equipment on obviously, since most of the medical profession now are business people it would seem, they're obviously trying to get a, a quick return on their investment, a solid return on their investment like all of us. But as a result, new technology means increased cost of medical care for the average Barbadian. 